Thanks, uh, Javdekar Saab, very much for being with us. Let me first get your reaction to what Malika Junkarge said. And he said, the Congress will lead an opposition coalition that will unseat the BJP in 2024 and that the Congress was in talks with every other party. How would you respond? Uh, in democracy and in India, there is no ban on daydreaming. That is number one. Without any homework, Khadgeji has claimed this is expression of ego. And everybody knows that situation has changed in India in last 10 years. It is now the performance and development oriented politics and voting. And Prime Minister said in Parliament, in Lok Sabha, that his shield and cover is faith of 140 crore people of India. So this is people want development. What opposition unity, if at all it happens, what it can happen, what there has to be minimum program. No, what but is the I'll tell you what, what the opposition the is trying to do. Now I take your point. That's but... what I'm saying. No, no. What, but if you look at India's the... electoral so... math, right? 37% of all Indians, right? The seat share of the BJP has been 37%. What the opposition is gunning for is the balance 63%. Uh, and therefore, they believe that, look, if we all come together, we'll get there. I think that's... See, this is, this is not... That's mathematic. Mathematic is that Modi's approval rate is increasing in all the states. And more importantly... People want development, as I said, they are aspirational. So it is not 37% and 63%. 63% are not together and they cannot be together. The, what can be the, I was just thinking, if Kharge's wish comes true, what can be the minimum program? Minimum program will be corruption, Wapas, corruption again, family rule again, and cases of corruption to be withdrawn again. Hey, Javdekar so Shab, there is nobody over here to reply to those uh, allegations. So you put me in a, uh, in a difficult spot. But why don't you answer this, Javdekar Saab? This is what... what? Uh, this is what... No, no. Uh, the elections don't work like this. We have a first-pass poll system. And in first-pass poll system, there are many candidates and the candidate which gets more vote gets elected. And it's perfect democracy. See, we are a very strong democracy. 70% voting. In Tripura, it was 85% voting. So this is the vibrancy of Indian democracy. And people have changed, uh, made many changes when they are upset on the uh, present okay. government. Javdekar sir, let me ask you another question. Sir, let it me ask. What we are witnessing is pro incumbency. Okay, let me ask you another question. This is again what Mr. Kharge said. Mr. Kharge said that the Prime Minister has several times said, I am the only man who can face the country. No other people can touch me. Um, and to and, and, and Kharge ji says, No democratic man says this. You are in a democracy. You should remember. You are not an autocrat. You are not a dictator. How would you respond? But that is what Modi ji has been elected by people and loved by people in a democratic manner. They have given him mandate once, not only twice, and now third time also there is no vacancy. But sir, why don't we look at the math? Uh, why don't we also look at certain math, states where you are math, not in power? Not or let's math, look at states. Chemistry. Sir, sir, sir. In let, politics, let, let, let's in talk elections, it is not maths, but the chemistry works. And chemistry is pro incumbency. People want development. Sir, that's a headline. Javdekar Sir, that is a headline. It is not maths that works, it is only chemistry. Is, I mean, is that genuinely your belief, sir? It's the yes. charm of Modi that's going to win the elections. Yes. Okay. But then why don't we take a look at some of the states where you've not done well? And these are, of course, uh, assembly results of the more recent These, these were the assembly results. See, assembly and... Uh, no, no, I know they're different. I know they're different. 
But I'm so trying to understand how you intend to counter it. Differently. No, no, but Javadekar sir, let me bring up a graphic. Let's talk state by state. Let's look at I will, Rajasthan first. I will just first. one minute, one minute. Odisha voted the same day in parliament and assembly. And then we got many votes more in parliament election on the same day. So this is how things happen. BJP has 15% of the seats, right? In Orissa. Yeah. And the BJD has 76%. Yes. So in fact, that's one of the states that I was going to talk to you about. That it is a big challenge for you. In no, the past, but the BJP and saying, the BJP were quite you close. See, one minute. You see the uh, percentage of voting BJP has secured in assembly and on the same day in parliament. So what I'm stressing at this point of time is every to, if assembly and parliament elections are different. Okay. Let's take a look at West Bengal. Uh, again, I take your point about, uh, you know, comparing assembly and uh, the Lok Sabha elections differently. It's not correct. But just for, for but just if we are to go uh, with these numbers as a as an example of popularity, the Trinamool has 72% of the seats, the BJP has 26%. Uh, again, going forward, even in the last elections, you didn't do very well in Bengal. Do you expect to seriously reverse this? No, no. The last uh, last parliament elections, we got 18 seats. And we had only one seat in Prior 14. So we will, we will also not only maintain, but we will increase our tally. That's my own assessment. You will increase your tally over there. One more state, sir. Let's take a look at, uh, let's say, uh, Telangana. Now, you face considerable opposition in Telangana. Um, the BRS now calls itself, uh, you know, an, an All India Party at this stage. They are avowedly anti BJP. They are anti Congress as well. So, um, how do you intend to make a mark there? See, Telangana is a ripe state for a change of guards in Telangana state because. The assembly elections will be first, and then it will be parliament elections. So we will make the change itself in assembly elections. That you will see. Okay. Two more states, Delhi and Punjab. The Ahmadmi party in power in both of these states. Uh, Delhi, you would concede is a problem? No, because Delhi, last time also, they had 67 seats. Yes. But, but we won all the seven seats in parliament. So Congress is disappearing. That goes to Amadi Party. Yes. But finally, people vote for Modi for development, for uh, good governance, and that is the case uh, of Delhi. Also, is very clear that they won the assembly, but we won all the seven Lok Sabha seats. All right. So Javdekar Saab, the bottom line over here. You spoke about development, you spoke about the other issues, but primarily it is the Prime Minister and what he carries that the BJP will continue to bank on, as, bank on and as far as you're concerned, that is your master card. With that, the BJP is, cannot be touched. See, because he symbolizes good governance. People want good governance. That's the simple thing. All right. Okay, Javdekar Thank Saab, thanks, thanks very much uh, Thank for you. being uh, with us. Thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, Thank you.